The shofar is a strong symbol of the High Holy Days for Jews all around the world. But ever wonder what they actually are or how they're even made? Well, the shofar is an instrument typically made out of the horn of a ram, a goat, or a sheep. And even though cows are technically kosher, it's not allowed to make a shofar out of their horns. In ancient times, the shofar was often sounded to alert cities in wartime. But today, the blast is meant to wake people up spiritually and get them ready to face the new year ahead. When making a shofar, you first take the horn of the animal, puncture a hole in it and drill through so there's an open space inside. Cause well, there's cartilage in there that you'll have to take out. The animals are usually around six years old, and don't worry, no animal is killed only for its horns. They're taken as a byproduct from animals being used for food. And animal horns are usually curled, so for the next step, you'll need to put the horn over a fire and heat it up to straighten it out. The mouthpiece is important because the shape of it can make or break how well your horn sounds. And finally, after all this, the shofar is shined up and ready to blow. And fun shofar fact of the day, people who really have an ear for the shofar say the sounds heard from an Ashkenazi shofar differ from those made by a Sephardic one. Why, you ask? Well, Ashkenazim traditionally use a ram's horn, while Sephardim usually use a kudu horn, which is a type of antelope. And that is how the shofar is made. Ah!